Okay, so today we're going to focus on creating a Google self-portrait drawing. And I'm going to begin this exercise by actually finding my Google Drive. So I type in Google Drive into the search bar. I open the first link on Google, which is my drive. Um, you can see that I'm already signed in. And the next thing I need to do is select New on the left side. Scroll down to More, which is at the bottom. And then the first choice that pops up to the right is Google Drawings. And I'm going to open that up. And when it, I uh, select that feature, a new tab opens up, and this is my Google Drawing. And the first thing I need to do is I need to change the title and save it. So I'm going to name it uh, your name, so whatever your name is, and then self-portrait. And after I finish typing, I click outside the box, and that will automatically save it. Next, I'm going to put an image or photograph. So I said select insert, image, photograph. I choose allow. And now you can see that my webcam appears, and I'm able to take a photograph of myself. So I take a picture, I click the camera icon, and then you can take multiple pictures, and then you can pick the one that you like the most. And you can tell which one it is because it will have the blue border around it, and select insert. From here I need to resize my image so it fits the canvas. The canvas is the checkerboarded area, so I expand it to fill up the entire border. And then I'm going to crop this image. Oh, no. Let's see. What am I going to do? Yep, I'm going to crop this image. So I select the image, and a border appears, a black border with anchor points. And then I can slide these anchor points to cut out parts of the image that I don't want. So this is called cropping. And when I'm satisfied with the area I've selected, I select Enter on my keyboard. And now I have. A focused image of myself. I can then expand the photograph to fill in the canvas again, and I'm almost ready to begin drawing myself. But before I do this, I'm going to want to make my image a little more transparent. Transparent means see-through. So I select Format Options. I'm going to scroll down to Adjustments. Click on Adjustments. And then I'm going to select the first option, which is transparency. And I'm going to slide that slider in between, or between 30% and 50%. That's where I tend to find the sweet spot. OK, I'm going to X out of that. And now I'm prepared to uh, begin tracing myself. So on the secondary toolbar, I'm going to select the line tool, which is located next to the select tool. And I'm going to go all the way down. You can see I select the arrow next to the line tool and choose Scribble. I select Scribble. And now I'm prepared to begin tracing myself. This tool works um, by clicking down with your mouse, so the left click, and then dragging the mouse. Or, and basically, when you drag the mouse, you're tracing uh, the contour or the outline of your self portrait. Um, this feature works. It does what it's supposed to do, but it's uh, it's kind of hard to control. I find I lack control when I use the Scribble tool. And I'm just going to continue doing that until I outline myself. But another option you have is a tool called the Polyline tool. And the way the Polyline tool is you click an anchor point, so you pick a point on the line you want to trace. And then every time you click, uh, you set down an anchor point. So essentially what you can do is just click along the path that you want to trace um, to get a more accurate uh, line. OK, so the next thing we need to focus on here is uh, using the polyline tool 
uh, as I trace around an area, as you can see here, I'm working on my glasses. When I get back to the starting point of my polyline, I'm going to create a shape, and that shape will be filled with a blue color. I select the, uh, basically it's like a paint bucket tool, and I'm going to choose the first option, which is transparent, and that will make the color see-through or invisible. And I'm doing the same thing here on the right side with my glasses. I'm just going around, hit the paint bucket tool, and select transparent. And I'm just going to continue going through and selecting or tracing different features of my face until I have completely outlined or done each contour for each feature of my self-portrait. So as I finish tracing each feature of my face um, and I want, I'm ready to delete my background photograph, I use the select tool, select my background, and then use the backspace key on my keyboard to delete it. Then I'm going to click in the right left hand corner, click and drag so that every line is selected, and I'm going to change the weight, which means the thickness of each line. And I can do that option next to the line color. Um, and as you can see, I've changed the thickness so my lines are a little more bold and I can see my portrait a little better. And now I'm prepared to um, submit this assignment. So I'm going to go back to Schoology and I'm going to navigate to the art class. So in this case, I'll be my 2B art class. And I'm going to scroll down to um, week number eight lesson. Once I open that up, I'm going to scroll down again and enter the Try It Google Drawing Self-Portrait assignment. Click on that. And then on the right side, you can see some students have already submitted their assignments. However, I'm going to use this video to show you what it'll look like from your end. You select Submit Assignment, go to Resources, and on the left side, go down to Apps. Make sure your Google Drive is highlighted and select the assignment to submit and click Import File. So in case you missed that, I'm going to go through this one more time. You're going to open the assignment, click Submit Assignment. At the top, select Resources, and on the left side, select Apps. Make sure your Google Drive is highlighted and find your assignment, select the white box next to it and click Import, Import File. And that's how you submit an assignment from your Google Drive. Thanks for watching. Created by Bill Ford. Join me over at Mr. Ford's Art Class on YouTube. Like and subscribe.